This WISE review will continue to focus on the content area of credit and will address credit worthiness. When you talk credit worthiness, you're talking about what are referred to as the three C's of credit worthiness. Those are character, will you pay your debt is what that says, capacity, in other words, can you pay your debt, and lastly, collateral, do you have something that you will pledge against the debt? Initially on that first C of character. What is your reputation for paying your bills? Your credit score is what lenders will look at when they try to determine what your riskiness is or trustworthiness is for paying back a potential loan. It's also known as your FICO score, and that's because it was developed by the Fair Isaac Corporation. That's where FICO comes from. And it is a number that is considered the measure of how trustworthy you are or how risky you are for paying back a debt as a borrower. It's basically a scoring model, it comes from a scoring model, which is just a fancy formula that takes information from your credit report, plugs it into the formula, and produces a number. There are three major credit bureaus that collect uh, information about your credit history. Those are Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. Each of these companies maintains a database that tracks your entire credit history. Loans, credit cards, you name it, payment histories, everything about you and how you've handled your credit will be on one, if not more, of these three reports. Now you can get these three reports for free once a year. Credit scores, however, will cost you money. Then the credit score ranges normally range from a low of 300 to a high of 850. Lenders normally break these down into different categories based on different credit score ranges, everything from excellent to terrible, and they'll basically make their lending decisions based on how they categorize you. What are they going to do? Well, first off, they're going to determine whether they should loan you the money or not. If they decide they want to loan you the money, they're going to try to determine, based on that credit score, what interest rate they want to charge you. What they'll normally do is just establish some basic tiers uh, based on what the credit score ranges are. And they'll assign interest rates based on what tier that is. And as you see here, the lower credit scores get higher interest rates. The higher credit scores, in other words, the more trustworthy borrowers, get better interest rates. Now look at the impact that that has on the monthly payments. Three identical loans for three identical amounts for three identical time frames, the only difference is credit score, makes a significant impact on how expensive those monthly payments are going to be. People with better credit will have lower monthly payments. People with terrible credit will have higher monthly payments. What uh, drives this FICO score? Well, the most important thing is your payment history. Do you pay your bills on time? What you can do to keep that part good is pay your bills on time. What well, will hurt your credit score then significantly and will have the biggest impact on your credit score negatively? Late payments. 30 days late, 60 days late, 90 days late. Perhaps you're so far behind on payments that lender has had to turn that bill over to collections to try to get them to collect the money from you. Or if you've had to file bankruptcy and you've basically told the creditor, I'm never paying you back again. That will also hurt your credit significantly. Closely behind that is the amounts that you owe. Specifically, they look at two things. Do you have a lot of debt? In other words, have you got a lot of high unpaid balances or not? Low unpaid balances are good. Also, what's looked at is what's called your debt to credit ratio. Specifically, they look at what are your credit limits that you have available and how much of it are you actually using. If you have a lot of credit that would be available to you through high credit limits, but very little actually used, that will actually have a positive impact on your credit score. Bad would be the opposite. If you have run up a lot of debt or you've maxed out a lot of your credit limits, then that is going to have a significant negative impact on your credit score also. Another thing that will impact your credit score negatively is new credit. If a potential lender has done a credit inquiry on you and pulled your credit score or looked at your credit report, in the short term that will actually slightly lower your credit score. Also, if you've got a new loan, or got a new credit card, that'll also bring down your credit score. 
How can you maintain or improve your credit score? Well, number one, pay your bills on time. Don't be late on a bill. Late payments on bills will definitely hurt your credit score. Also, don't run up a lot of debt. Don't keep using that credit card. Don't max out the credit cards. Don't keep taking on debt. It becomes harder and harder for you to pay that off as you run that up. If you do have balances, pay them down. Get those balances paid off. Ideally, pay them off completely. Remember, that high credit available, those high credit limits, but very little credit used, will have a positive impact on your credit score. The second C of credit worthiness is the capacity. Can you actually make the payments? That's what they're going to be looking at. They're going to look at your income and your expenses. They want to see not only can you cover your current payments, but are you still going to have enough income left over to make the monthly payment on the debt that they're getting ready to loan you. Lastly, is there going to be some collateral associated with the loan? Any of those things that will get pledged against a loan will be considered when considering the interest rate. If there's something that that lender can now come and seize to help offset any potential loss from you not paying the debt, they will generally take that into consideration when they're assigning your interest rate. And they will generally give you a lower interest rate if there's going to be some collateral backing that loan. That concludes this review.